Oh, maybe you don't need the rocket nozzle. Never mind. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Seems like the only logical decision. Too. If I'm not mistaken, it's Rico Harbor. Yep. Gooper Blooper breaks out. That's all you need to know, guys. That's all you need to know. Doesn't this level look like a pain in the fucking ass? Well, you'd be right. Rico Harbor is a massive pain in the ass. Teaching us about the greats and stuff, you know, it's not super important to uh, learn right away. For now, we just need to get over to these colorful crates over here. What's he talking about? I know we're in the middle of Christ and all, but do you think you could help scrub off the walls too? We got a minute, that is no rush. I can scrub off that Mario paint up there. Oh. Gets me, uh, yeah, gets me a blue coin. I do believe this leads to a sewer entrance. Yeah. Alright, so. Gooper blooper. How do we deal with this guy? Grab a hold of his ass and peel it off. So, this is Gooper Blooper, he's a boss that we have lots of fun with. Your main point of interest here is you're trying to pull this cork out of his mouth. If he gives you a free moment, you can go for it, but you gotta beware because he has these tentacles in the front here that he will try to attack you with if you try to pull it out too early before getting rid of them. So, same thing. We need to pull the, uh... Well, not pull a cork out of his mouth, because he doesn't have it anymore, but we need to pull his mouth basically off. There we go. These side tentacles don't matter so much. It's mainly the front ones that you gotta look out for. Goodbye. It'd be funny if the shine sprites is dead up there. It's like you gotta find a way to get your ass up here. It'd be a pain in the dick. Pretty good. Ten shine sprites already. I don't know, guys. We're making good progress. Uh oh. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's a new world that opens up. That, uh, Bowser thing? I think that's a new world. Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom has apparently been kidnapped again! Suspect was last seen escaping to the west with the princess in tow. Awful terrible, Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Maybe we should deal with this right away. Thanks. Let me bounce off your fucking head, dude. Hold on, there's a secret shine sprite in this building. I was wondering if you can actually get into it. Oh wait, no. That leads out to the island. Never mind. 
Oh wait, maybe I can get to it from here. Oh no, I can't. Oh wait, yes I can. Because you go through here, right? Or maybe not. Hmm. I don't know, the sewer system for this game is pretty complicated. There's certain isolated ones, things like that. Maybe you smash this? No. Well, golly. I forgot how to get that shine sprite that's in there. Oh well. It's not of importance right now. Thanks. That is Pina Island. The villain secret hideout must be there. If I'm not mistaken, that's World Four, and that cannon's what uh, lets you get there. So, we'll be doing that a little bit later. Not yet. We gotta deal with these two worlds first. World 2 and World 3. Alright, Rico Harbor. Blooper Surfing Safari. AKA, get ready to nerd rage. Okay. This is a little bit of a uh, dexterity challenge, this one. That's right, I'm the Big Daddy Blooper Surfing. If you like surfing, hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Over one thing, Big Daddy waves all liability for accidents. Now hang loose. So you hop on, oh my god, hop on one of these things and it hauls ass. And you got no fucking choice of what happens to you. Well, you basically had to pilot it over into this cave and try not... TRY NOT TO HIT ANYTHING! And try not to miss this blue coin, either. Wahoo! You wanna go for a ride, bud? Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Go on, show me some blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. I'll get on the green one this time. So blooper surfing's pretty darn easy. Uh, nothing to really worry about. They give you actually pretty excellent control over it. You just have to watch out for obstacles, naturally. Try not to get hit by nothing. Get a shine sprite. It's that easy. So of course, that one is easy, but we will have blooper racing later in the game. That is gonna not be so easy. So, look forward to that. At least if memory serves me right, I don't remember. Oh well. Deb's alert again. I don't even care anymore, man. Don't even give me that Deb's. Or a dab on him. The caged shine sprite. Okay. So. Oh, man. If you couldn't already tell, your objective here is to try your best to get to the uh, 
get to that big yellow cage up there on top of the uh, on top of all the scaffolding and stuff like that. That's actually pretty easy. They make it seem kind of difficult by putting it way up here, but it's not. Essentially, this thing becomes basically a big obstacle course for you, but it's not so hard. I should be headed that way. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can make this. Heck yes, I can. Can I stay up? Nope. Oh. I don't quite remember which way to go. I did see that blue coin down there, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. Hmm. Right, I could go over through here. Requires some impeccable maneuverability if you plan on cheating the system like I'm doing. Alright, but you do need to stop here because this is the rocket nozzle and that is essential. Assholes flying around, making your life difficult. Now you just need to jump up. Not fall. Thank you. Oh, maybe you don't need a rocket nozzle. Never mind. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. It's my worst nightmare. <laughs> that was so awful. I shouldn't have ground pounded, guys. <laughs> Alright, let me... Hold on. <laughs> if I can get below it now, then I can get into it. I'm sure of it. Come on! It's a dangerous situation, guys. You see the shine sprite up there inside the cage? I found it first. Pretty cool, huh? Now how in the world can I get up there? Alright. There we go. I was like, get your controls right, man. That's what I meant to do the first time, and then I let go. I was like, oh no. It was all downhill from there. Okay. So far so good, I guess, on this world. Let's try another one, and then we'll call it. Harbor, the secret of Rico Tower. Another one that's relatively easy until you actually get in there. I'm sure. I don't remember what's actually in here. But we're gonna find out. I wonder if I can take this over. There we go. I can take it over. It's very helpful. There's gotta be a way to get up here. 
Heck yes there is. Oh, he screwed it up, man. Hold on, this might be easier to get up on top of. Shoot. Oh well, why don't I just... Do this. I didn't... I didn't do it right! No! <laughs> no, man. for two seconds for two seconds damn it Mario I swear to god breaking my balls man I can make it I can make it <laughs> I couldn't make it oh no now you done goofed I did it, fam. <laughs> I'm on the bet there's a blue coin up there if you go hop high enough. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wapo! <laughs> that was close, man. Alright, here we go. This fucking shit. This shit. Gets worse and worse as it pans out. I think I've had many a playthrough that end. Here. Because this one's a pain in the dick. Yeah. Give me the clown horn. I want it. Alright, I'll try not to rush through it this time. Take our time. Go slow. Let's wall jump to grab this. I said let's wall jump and grab it. Firmly grasp it. No, man! <laughs> I have to go fold Jeremy. Canadian mode whenever I fail at something. You fucking suck. I don't know why you're fucking playing this game. Clown horn up my ass. So if you do run out of lives in here, I believe what it does is it kicks you out back to Delfino Plaza. You have to find your way back here all over again and regret all your life decisions you've ever made. Because you're rushing through it, man. You're not taking your time. I deserve about a hundred clown horns. Take your sweet ass time, man. You're not timed in here. So I don't know why you're rushing. LP pressure. Don't be doing spins and shit. I don't want to see that. Wait for this to be a little bit more centered. Then I'll hop on it. Okay, now you gotta be on it like a fucking bonnet when you're doing these things. Or else you're you're done, kid. Holy shit! You better fucking call an Uber home, because this shit is ridiculous. This doesn't even make sense. Or that joke didn't... Oh! How are you gonna make me jump from such a big one to such a small one, man? Oh, I did it. Timed perfectly. Woo!
that's what I call MLG Pro. Not even. <laughs> I suck. Oh man. Fun episode. <laughs> I'm stressed, man. I'm stressed. I can't handle it. Typhoon damage exhaust port on the western shore. You want something, don't you? Doesn't she want, like, fruit or something in her basket? You want to work for me a little bit? I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. Bananas, bring me three. Just bring the fruit here, put it in this basket. I have no idea where I'm gonna fucking find bananas, lady. I have no idea where bananas are, so I'm not even gonna bother. Unless they're all up here. Oh my god, I found bananas. I don't know what this unlocks, but we'll see what happens. It's just something to do, I guess, to end the episode. Oh, bitch. Yeah, I'm trying. If you'd let me grab it. Dude! That's not even funny, man. It's like right around the corner, lady. Why can't you just run over here and do it? Lazy ass people. Three points. I ain't curry, man. I ain't curry. Put it down! <laughs> Jeez, man. This shouldn't be this hard. Oh, these bananas respawn, okay. I didn't mean to throw it. She, she's gonna have dirty bananas, yo. She's gonna be pissed at me. Did the same shit I did last time. Three points! Three points! Ah. Thanks, sweetums. Oh, we got a blue coin out of that. Well, that's cool. Anyways, I'm gonna save, and that'll be it. Guys, thank you so much for watching these past, uh, so episodes of, <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine. I'll see you next time. This has been your host, as per usual, we and Neil. Uh, bye bye for now. Oh, by the way, title screen, in case you guys haven't seen it. <laughs>